encrypt certain attributes at the database level, then this gem attribute encrypted will be a great solution for you. However, keep in mind that just because you are encrypting data at the database level does not mean that your data is secure because someone with an unauthorized level of access to your application will still be able to see your records in plain text. Alright, to get started, Let's add the gem to our gem file, save it, and then run the bundle command. Make sure that once you do this, that you do restart your Rails application. All right, so let's get started by adding a new column to our database. We're going to just type Rails G migration, add message to users, and then let's call the encrypted underscore message so this encrypted prefix to our attribute this is going to be picked up by the gem and we're only going to reference message within our rails application so go ahead and run this and then run rake db migrate to make the changes within our model we can add a new line here for the attribute encrypted we're encrypting message notice we are not putting the encrypted prefix and then we're selecting a key for this attribute this key will be used for encrypting our message once we do this we can go into our users controller and then we need to add the message parameter to our permitted parameter so once we add this in and save it it will be allowed to hit our database and once we finish that, we can go into our user's form, and then we can simply just put in an input field for the message, and notice again we are not putting the encrypted prefix. So let's try this out in our application. So I'll just open up our application here. I'll create a new user, and we'll put in a secret message. So we can see that the message saved, it did save onto the database and it is sort in plain text here. However, if we go into our database, if we select everyone from our table, we'll see that the message is actually encrypted here. So even though we see it in plain text within the application, on the database side, it is encrypted. So this is the column for the encrypted message. You are also able to create a per attribute IV in salt, which will allow you to create a more secure attribute within your database since we are not relying on a single universal key for protecting the data. To do this, you will simply add two extra attributes to your database with the prefixes salt and IV, notice that we are still keeping the same encrypted underscore, and in this example, they're encrypting the social security number. Then, back in your model where you had created the encryption for your message and have your secret key, you'll create a mode and pass in per attribute IV and salt. You are also able to select the different types of encryptions used simply by selecting the algorithm and then from the available list using one of the different encryptions. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.